we have prepared our account CSV. We're now going to go through the process of using the data import wizard to import these accounts. Let's take a look at that. So what I do is I go to setup and there are actually two ways in which you can import data. I'm going to show you one of those two. If I go to data management in the setup from Salesforce Classic, you can see that you can download a data loader or you can use the data import wizard. Both of these are very acceptable ways. If you, my advice would be if you're using mass mass data uh, to use the data loader, it's far more efficient at huge uh, files. The data import wizard is perfect for our purposes because we're inserting less than 100 records. So if I click on the data import wizard, it's going to take me to my recent jobs, but it's also going to ask me to launch the wizard. So let me quickly launch it and show you what we have. As we go through, you can see that we have the process of choosing our data, edit our mapping. Remember, we focused on mapping when we thought about the fields, and then we begin our import. We have standard objects, accounts and contacts, leads, solutions, and campaign members. Notice how accounts and contacts are together. That's why we have to begin by importing the accounts and then looking at the contacts. What I'm going to do is actually click right here. It's going to ask me what I want to do. I want to add new records, update existing records, add new and update existing records. I want to actually add new records, so I click on this. It's going to say, do I want to match any contacts? I don't have any contacts at this moment. Do I want to match accounts by? I'm just going to say name and site. I'm going to click CSV and I'm going to choose my file. Once I've chosen my file, I can then click next. And Salesforce is going to ask me to map my information. So this is what Salesforce has gathered from the headings and we can see the examples right over here. But we can also see that one of these is unmapped. So I click on map, and what it will ask me to do is to name the map that we want. In this case, I'm gonna type in billing. And we can see that we have multiple options. The option I'm gonna choose is billing state or province. And I'm gonna click map. Now, important to note is that not all um, fields need to be mapped. Okay, important fields need to be mapped, but not all fields need to be mapped. So if you have a CSV with a lot of fields and not all of them are important, those that are mapped will update or, or add into Salesforce, but those that are not mapped here will not. Okay, so you will have to decide what works best for you. Once you've decided, I will then click Next, and Salesforce will ask me to review and start my input. So I can see that we have accounts and contacts, I have four fields. It's saying that you, I don't have anything that is not going to be included. All right, so there's zero. And then what I'm going to do is actually start my import. And it, it'll tell me, it'll send me a message to say that it started my import, and then give me a update on my import. So. It says that this is the job ID. It said it took 93 milliseconds. It's closed. And we can also look at the request and the result of the request. And we can see that it's completed. So that is how we go about importing those records. Now, the easiest way to actually see whether those records have been imported is to run a report. So let's do that. If I click on reports, I can then go to new report. I inserted an account, so I'm going to click accounts. Okay. I'm going to click create the report. And I'm going to click all accounts. And I'm going to say create a date custom today. Let's see what comes up. And then I'm just going to run this report. We can immediately see that the accounts that we just created are now in the system. And this tells us that our import was successful. 
In the next lecture, I'm going to show you how to go about importing the contacts. And this is really, really important as we begin to think about how step one has been complete, inserting the accounts. Now we need to go to step two, which is connecting the contacts to those accounts.